Another reaction that can be used to form polymers is known as condensation. And we're going to look at a condensation reaction for uh, understanding how polyester polymers are formed and how polyamides polymers are formed. And both polyesters and polyamides are comprised of two different monomers. So let's take a look first at forming a polyester and look in more detail at this condensation reaction. When condensation occurs in our everyday life, water droplets form. And that's sort of how we can remember how a condensation reaction occurs because water is formed. Condensation reactions occur between two molecules that bond together and kick off a water molecule or water is formed. So when we are synthesizing or making a polyester, we need one monomer that has two alcohol or hydroxyl groups. And that's going to react with another monomer, we'll call B, that has two carboxylic acid groups. When A reacts with B, one of the alcohol groups reacts with the hydroxyl group on the carboxylic acid. These, this H from the alcohol and the OH from the carboxylic acid form water, that's kicked off, and then an ester linkage occurs between A and B. Now, B still has a carboxylic acid group on the other end that can react with another A molecule. And A has a hydroxyl group on the other end, and it can react with another B to form another ester link linkage. So in polyesters, we have this long backbone formed of two different monomers, A and B, one that had the hydroxyl groups, one that had the carboxylic acid groups. So A, B, A, B, A, B and A and B are tied together or linked together by an ester functional group. Now, condensation reactions are also can also be used to form polyamides. And polyamides are formed when we have a monomer that has two carboxylic acids, so we'll still call that B, two carboxylic acid functional groups. And that's going to react with another monomer, we'll call C, that has two amine groups. When a carboxylic acid reacts with an amine, the hydroxyl group of the carboxylic acid reacts with a hydrogen from the amine to form water, so that's the condensation, water forms, and then B and C are bonded through an amide linkage. Now C still has an amine group that can react with another B, and B still has a carboxylic acid group that can react with another C. So we have the capability of forming these, forming these very long backbone chains, B to C to B to C, and B and C are connected by an amide um, functional group. So nylon is a common polyamide, and here on this slide we see the monomer that has two carboxylic acid groups reacting with another monomer, we'll call Y, that has two amine groups. Um, the hydroxyl from the carboxylic acid reacts with the hydrogen from the amine to form water, and then these two monomers are connected by an amide linkage, and the reaction continues and continues and continues we have, where we have this amide um, bond connecting the two monomers. So um, for a condensation reaction to form polymers, each monomer must have a reactive functional group at each end. So a molecule has to have two carboxylic acid groups, and if we're forming a polyester, it will react with a molecule that has two hydroxyl groups. If we're form forming a polyamide, then the monomer with two carboxylic acid groups will react with another monomer with two amine groups.